Hi. I'm kind of ready. Nope. Aaron, this dude totally just rolled in from the Great White North. Yeah, from um, Ontario, Canada. That is a long walk. What's the game plan? What's he starting with? What's he going after? Does he know? Or are we just well, trying yeah. to... This customer's got a Harley Stage 4 kit and he wasn't really pleased with the performance that it was uh, giving him, so he called us up, found us on the internet, and uh, we're switching him over to a Redshift 468 cam. We're leaving the majority of the motor the way it is. Uh, we're gonna do an SNS plate and pump setup, and uh, just kind of freshen up the bottom end and make this bike uh, produce what it should. You wanna see some real go fast parts? Fast parts? Real go fast parts? You know, it's it's funny, I should have watched your video about two months ago, and then I never would have got the stage four kit done at home. I would have just yeah. come down here and got you guys with your parts to do all your stuff. And we see that a lot. We've actually yeah. redone multiple motorcycles other dealerships have done. Yeah. They've come down here and like, let's build the whole thing over. Yeah. It's not too late if you want to leave it a little longer, we can... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can convince my wife, I'll give you her number. <laughs> So the best thing about the the uh, SNS oil pump, all the oil pumps have two pickups, one for the crankcase and one for the cam right. compartment. Yep. But what SNS does, they actually split the gears. So there's a dedicated chamber for the crankcase, and then <laughs> the uh, cam compartment pickup goes through this screen, through this passage, into the next gear over. Yeah. So you don't run the risk of cavitating the gear. Okay. Because if you have oil in one compartment and nothing in the yeah, other, yeah, it'll pull yeah. air through that and mix the air in with the gears. So that slows the ability to move the oil through the system. That's why we like the SNS pump so much. Yeah. So how do you set the pressure on? They come set at 42 pounds. At 42? And we have run into one that is yeah. excessive. We've, we've yeah. put oil uh, pressure <laughs> gauges on a few of our big, big right. wheels and they're all right on. Yeah, man. Thanks and for making the trip. I can't thank you all the way. For all yeah, us. yeah. Much appreciated. So yeah, we'll have that was a nice done, ride. Uh, we'll have it done Saturday morning. Okay. Will that crank? Doing a little test run. Test run. The moonshine horsepower. A few moments later. He's quivering in anticipation to let the camera know what just happened. He's old, so he can sidetrack DC. <laughs> I'm 90. What do you want? Awesome. It's great, man. What do you think? Beautiful. No more downshift. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the blue line is what it came in. The red line is where it is now. What happens when you do these Harley Stage 4s is, especially if you go the route that your dealership went, they put the Harley Stage 4 on, you put a Harley tuner on it, and then an auto tuner, and then you put a high flow exhaust. Well, the high flow exhaust is not factored into the equation. When you put an auto tune device, when I were talking about Thunderbird suit, and it's a closed loop system, it's still running on the original map that's in the, that's in the game. So, the tune that the bike had wasn't equipped to handle the exhaust to begin with. So the auto tune, it's gonna, when you're cruising, it's fine. But as soon as you put it under a load, it just dies. Because the, the tune that it has to fall back on when it can't run the closed loop is inadequate for the tune. From, at 2300 RPMs, it's a 50 foot pound of torque gain. Yeah, it's not always size. No. You know, it's, it's how the cam operate. Thank you. Thanks. We appreciate it, man. Thank you. And there it is. Happy man. Thanks, Congrats. guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Thank you, sir. You no, know, this is above my expectations because I thought the torque would come in somewhere around 125. Yeah, uh, yeah. roughly. No, oh, we smashed that. Where do we end up? Oh, 136.2. 136. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> Drastic improvement. And it came in perfect uh, at the perfect RPM as well. So I'm really happy. Awesome. Really happy. Thanks again, you guys. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Pretty clean. Hell yeah. Good, good. I'll go get packed up and get on the highway. Okay. Aaron, what color is the pen in your pocket? Oh, okay. <laughs>